mealy mouthing what segregation was. It wasn't sitting on the back of the bus. It wasn't one in the water fountain. It was the fact that your color of your skin made sure that your opportunity was denied mm. by law, by policy. Congress, prosecutors, councils, city councils, commissioners, governors, all championed it. Got up and said, segregation now. Segregation for the other. They said it every day. They said it every time. We are setting up and acting like, oh, it wasn't like that. Mm -hmm. When Dr. King got the SCLC set up, he took it as a church without walls. Mm -hmm. And when they got ready to go out to march, they didn't go out to march like we march. Now we go out to take Coca-Cola and water, <laughs> bottled water, put it in a little <laughs> carry bag and drag it back on the bus and we go out there and uh, it's a picnic. Mm -hmm. When Dr. King went out to march, they came to church to sing the songs of Zion because they didn't know if they were going to come back. Mm -hmm. Sheriffs were authorized to kill you. And the sheriff in Auburn had stuck the gun in Willie Bolton's mouth and told him, if you breathe, I'll kill you. In front of 150 witnesses. Wow. Tyrone Brooks had a shotgun stuck to his head in front of 20 witnesses in Covington, Georgia, in 1972. Mm -hmm. And the only reason the sheriff didn't kill him was there were 15 folks around looking at him as a witness. The sheriff in Douglas still killed 50 people. 150 black folks in the 70s and 80s. All right. mm. We're sitting up acting like race is over in America and it's still central. Oh, we're in a post-racial era. Did you say? Somebody said it. Liar. I'm telling you now, it's a lie. Race is still central. I'm one of, I'm one of the most qualified people. Watch it now. I'm one of the most qualified people you want me. I've done the education piece. I've done the international piece. I've been through government all to the federal level, all the way to congressional staff members, met presidents and senators, and protected them all over this country and all over the world. But I can't get a job. You know why? You're just overqualified. We, you're more qualified than the guy as the CEO here. We can't hire you. You can't. You, take that off your resume. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. No. It's all right, though. My mama taught me one thing. She said, God, make a way to do this. Stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. Stay on the question is a German to where are you going now? Mm -hmm. Because the, the civil rights uh, movement uh, was based on Gandhi and his nonviolent movement. It wasn't based on Gandhi, but... You know, uh, and, that, and we didn't look at Gandhi when he was in South Africa and he, how he dealt with violence. Now, what I want to know, in view of the fact that the demographics of America has changed, you understand, is more young people and the young men say all these things that means young people. And the, your organization, uh, when I was here the last time when Reverend Moon son came, he talked about that he was involved in the, in the, um, in the ammunition thing and in lobbying for um, violence you know, the NRA type thing, okay. they have a lobby. What I want to know, is the movement looking at violence to promote their ends now? Right. In regards to all that is happening now, because, and in regards to the one world government. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> No, I, okay, I, I, I heard I heard a couple of things in your question, but as it relates to the gun and ownership, yes, the, that, know, that, that gun ownership is an individual. Anybody has the right to start a business. So that was that person who owns a gun manufacturer. The problem with us now is to deal with legislation as it relates to gun control because it's out of control. 
everybody is seemingly owning a gun and taking a gun in places and destroying people has nothing to do with the movement. But I understand that you're asking about the the, the Mr. What I, your 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 argument is that where are you going now? Mm -hmm. And what I want to know is because of the, the demographics in, in America that is happening now, you know, the change in the, the black and white and the Spanish thing that is going on now, if you are contemplating to look at violence in a different way from what you were looking at it prior to, to Martin Luther King's time. Okay, I, I don't know that the majority of people are looking for violence or to take it a different direction. Uh, that's individual, individual, individually. Second else, Amendment, right? That's your right to own a gun, but we are making it that our gun laws are just too lax. So that has nothing to do with the movement and where we go from here. What I proposed and what I submitted earlier was that 